I just noticed, um, especially since the start of COVID, that a lot of the women that I was friends with that were in the online communities that I run had been struggling with an uptick in alcohol abuse and were looking for solutions. And prior to starting um, this alcohol-free mom tribe, I had been going to a local AA women's meeting, but just the way everything had moved online last year, we thought that having kind of a happy medium in between would be something that would really serve the women who had been struggling. A lot of times it's just been word of mouth of people confiding in their friends and saying that they're looking for support and we you know, have a private, really welcoming com community of mostly local moms, um, but now it's kind of expanded across the US as well and even have a couple people internationally who are part of the group. And so a lot of it's word of mouth. Some of it's just the way that Facebook works um, with those communities or Instagram um, from people searching or searching hashtags. But by and in large, it's usually people that we connect with in our other communities who expressed a need of wanting to either try the alcohol-free lifestyle and see if it works for them or just even looking for ways to cut back on their consumption and real life tools that actually they can implement that would help them on a day-to-day -day basis. I think as opposed to challenges, it's actually given us an opportunity and more of a platform because everything has transitioned to more online that people feel comfortable. They know that um, there's power in community, being vulnerable with each other, and just knowing there's other people that have your back that are out there that understand it and who are able to lend support as opposed to judgment. And, um, you know, sometimes people slip up and they really just need a space that they can go and um, have the support and the advice of people who are walking the same journey as them. would say that um, I would try and take breaks and think, okay, well, clearly I don't have a problem because I can stop drinking for months at a time. But every time that I went back to drinking, it always got back to as bad as it was before, if not worse. And I just came to the realization, both from a health standpoint, that I needed to make my health a priority because I'd been having some issues and I'd packed on so much weight. And then also, um, just as a mom, that I wasn't showing up in my kids' lives every day the way that they wanted. I would be hungover or I would be, you know, thinking about alcohol all the time. And so instead of making a hundred decisions during the day of if I was going to drink or not or how much, I just found that it was so much easier to just make one to not drink and that it's just freed up so much other space in my brain and in my life to focus on other things that truly bring me joy. Our hope is really just to get it out there in a culture that's, you know, very much like wine, mommy, rosé all day to show that there's another option and that you don't have to buy into that and to kind of be countercultural trendsetters um, and the first people to come out and just say, hey, you know, you don't have to hit rock bottom. You can decide that you want something more for your life and that maybe alcohol isn't serving you and to um, choose a different way.